Hi, boys and girls. Well, February is Dental Health Month. When we talk about Dental Health Month, we're talking about taking care of your teeth. And of course, most animals have teeth of one kind or another. We have teeth. We have a mixture of teeth. We have incisors. We have molars. We have canines. And that's because we're omnivores. When you have a mixture of teeth, it makes it a lot easier to eat a variety of foods. Well, we're going to read about some animals that have particular kinds of teeth to match what they need. So, the title of our book is, What if you had animal teeth? Hmm, what if you had animal teeth? I notice in this title, they use both an exclamation mark and also a question mark. I also see an asking word at the beginning of this question. What? I'm going to be excited about it because of the exclamation mark, but I'm also going to use a questioning tone because it's asking a question. Hmm. I noticed that this little boy does not just have regular human teeth. Hmm, I wonder what kind of teeth he has. I like the way the street is called Nibble Avenue because you can use your teeth to nibble on food. And this book is by Sandra Marble and it's illustrated by Howard McWilliam. Well, let's find out. What if you had animal teeth? Let's see. Oh my goodness. Look at his animal teeth. I wonder if you can figure out which animal teeth this little boy wanted. Hmm. So, you've lost your front teeth. Raise your hand if you've lost a tooth. Yeah, me too. Before you know it, two new ones will push right into their space. But what if an animal's teeth grew instead in that place? Hmm. I wonder which animal I would pick. Beaver. A beaver's front teeth are sharpened like chisels and are very sharp. They're perfect for biting off bark and cutting down trees. Fact. A beaver's front teeth have a coating that contains iron. This makes them super strong and orange. Hmm, so they're orangey and they're super strong. And I notice that he's been eating his book. If you had beaver teeth, your front teeth would never stop growing. So you would have to gnaw all the stuff that you like all day day after day for the rest of your life. Wow, I see right here, he's been gnawing on a pole, he's been gnawing on a house, and he's been gnawing on a sign. Hmm. And I happen to have a piece of wood that a beaver has gnawed on, and you can see the chisel-like marks that the beaver left on this piece of wood. See how he used his teeth to scoop the wood out, and it almost looks like I could use it like a pencil. But this is a real piece of wood that a beaver has gnawed on. Pretty cool. So they have to keep gnawing on things because otherwise their teeth would grow way too long and curve down into their chin. Great white shark. A great white shark's front teeth are like all its others, two inches long with an edge like a steak knife. They're great for biting through super thick things like an elephant seal's skin. Fact, great white teeth get new, year, new teeth about every 100 days. That keeps their bite at its sharpest. Oh my goodness. If you had great white shark teeth, You'd never have to worry about losing a tooth. There'd always be a new tooth growing behind it, ready to slide into place. And there'd never be a gap in your bite. Wow. So you would always 
be putting teeth under your pillow for the tooth fairy. She'd be mighty busy at your house. A narwhal. Wow. A narwhal's front teeth do something strange. The right one, so the one on the right, stays small, but the left one grows longer and longer to nearly 10 feet. Once it's that big, it has a new name. Instead of a tooth, it's called a tusk. A narwhal's long front tooth grows right out through its lip. Huh, interesting. I don't know that I'd want a tooth growing out of my lip. What would you use your tusk for if you were a narwhal? Would you poke around to find fish or fight off your enemies? Or would you feel your way through the dark parts of the ocean? Even scientists wonder what a narwhal does with its tusk. I see this little boy has chosen to turn it into a fishing pole. It's quite a useful tool. Elephant. An elephant's front teeth are called tusks too. A male's tusks grow between five and seven inches long each year of its life. The world record elephant tusk was more than 11 feet long. They're great for digging water holes and pulling up tree roots to munch. Fact, elephants are right tusked or left tusked, meaning they use one tusk more than the other. Hey, that's like us with our hands. Sometimes some people write with their left hand and sometimes people write with their right hand, making you right-handed or left-handed. If you had elephant tusks as your front teeth, they would be super strong too. You could easily lift and move your bed or even the family car, and no one would bully you, not even tigers. Wow, you would be really useful around the house being able to help out. But what about moving around furniture? Wouldn't they get in the way? Ooh, poor rattlesnake teeth. A rattlesnake's front teeth are called fangs. They're shaped like hooks and the tips are like needles. They fold up like a pocket knife when the snake closes its mouth and snap forward when it opens wide. Fact, when folded back, a rattlesnake's fangs slide inside fleshy covers. That way the needle tips don't nick the inside of the snake's mouth. When they say nick the inside, that means cut it. If you had rattlesnake fangs, your front teeth would inject deadly venom. So your teeth would be all you would need to fight enemies or to catch food to eat. Yeah, I see these bullies are like, mm -mm, ain't gonna bully that kid. No way, he's got fangs. Oh, mm -mm. Nope, not gonna do it. Naked mole rat. Uh, I don't think I'd want to be this one. In my opinion, I think he's a little strange looking. A naked mole rat's front teeth are shaped like shovels and are in front of his lips. So our teeth are behind our lips, but the naked mole rat's teeth are on top of its lips. They're perfect for digging the family tunnels without getting a mouthful of dirt. Fact, like beavers, a naked mole rat's front teeth never stop growing. Biting hard roots and bulbs wears the teeth down so they don't get too long. Well, that's good because otherwise they would hang right under its chin. If you had naked mole rat front teeth, you could move each tooth separately to the left or to the right. They'd work just like chopsticks for picking up food, bite by bite. Wow, so teeth that work like chopsticks. Oh, and you've got some chopsticks that you can use to try out for Chinese New Year. Fantastic. Uh-uh, vampire bat. <laughs> A vampire bat's front teeth are triangle-shaped and sharp as razors, 
They're perfect for scooping out a bit of animal skin so they can lap up the blood that flows into the wound. So when you lap up something, you do quick little licks with your tongue. Fact, baby vampire bats have teeth, but for the first four months, they aren't strong enough to fly and hunt. So they nurse and they eat vampire bat baby food which is blood their mothers bring up from their stomachs. Ooh, so they regurgitate, just like our penguins dad did, when you regurgitate something back up from your stomach so that the baby animal can eat it. Hmm, pretty cool. If you had vampire front teeth, you wouldn't have to worry about them chipping. Since they lack a harder nano coat, the edges would wear away easily and always stay sharp. Wow, so you would never need scissors to cut paper. You could just use your teeth. That could be a handy tool. If I wanted to cut something, they're super sharp. Hippopotamus. A hippopotamus's front teeth are long, strong pegs with very sharp edges. They're powerful weapons, so opening wide to show them off helps hippos scare away their enemies and the males to win a mate. Fact, because a hippo's teeth don't yellow over time in the past, they were made into dentures. Dentures are false teeth. So some people used to eat with hippo teeth, including the first U.S. president, George Washington. So George Washington didn't take very good care of his teeth. So he ended up having to have hippo teeth. And at one point he had wooden teeth because they needed to put some false teeth, some dentures into his mouth so he could eat food. So take care of your teeth for as long as you can so you don't need dentures when you're quite so young. If you had hippopotamus front teeth, you'd never need to brush. Your upper teeth would grind against your lower ones, keeping them clean and white. Mm, I think I would still brush my teeth just because it's fun. But if I had hippo teeth, I wouldn't need to. Interesting. <gasps> tiger teeth. Wow. A Bengal tiger's front teeth are for biting. Oh, excuse me. Are a biting six pack four sharp pegs edged by twin pointed cones set between its giant dagger-like canines. They're perfect for scraping feathers off birds and meat off bones. Wow, so there's some super sharp ones right in between the two biting ones that hold the prey. And they can scrape off feathers and scrape meat off bones. Pretty cool. Fact. A mother tiger uses her front teeth to bite very gently as she picks up and moves her cubs. Wow, I'd be like, Mom, don't pinch. Yikes, be careful. If you had Bengal tiger front teeth, they'd be strongly anchored in your jaw. You could bite and hold tight while dragging something as heavy as five times your weight. Wow, so you can see that he is dragging his sister around on a cart filled with suitcases. Very strong. Oh my goodness. That would be a scary smile to have. It almost looks like a zipper. Zip, 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 zip. Interesting. A crocodile's front teeth are all shaped like cones. That's a 3D shape. And have sharp tips. They bite well, but come out easily and new ones grow in very slowly. So a crocodile's front teeth are always changing and they're often different sizes. Interesting, so they're always kind of losing their teeth. Hmm, fact, crocodiles can't clean their own teeth. They open their mouths for small birds called plovers to pick leftover food off their teeth. Wow, I'd be very careful if I was that bird because if the crocodile suddenly decided to close his mouth, I might end up in there as dinner. Hmm, a very dangerous job indeed. 
If you had crocodile front teeth, your teeth would stick out when you closed your mouth. You wouldn't need to open wide when you went to the dentist or gave a toothy grin. The dentist is a person that you should see every six months to take care of your teeth. It's like a tooth doctor. Camel. Interesting. A young camel's front teeth are long, strong, and have very sharp edges. They're just right for nipping off tough, thorny desert plants. Fact, baby camel's front teeth erupt through their gums. That means poke through their gums. By the time they're 14 days old, like you, camels have two sets of teeth. Camels get their adult front teeth when they're about five years old. That's about the same as us. When we're about five or six or seven, we start to lose our baby teeth and get our adult teeth. If you had camel front teeth and ate tough stuff for eight hours a day as a camel do, by the time you were a grown-up, your front teeth would be no more than stubs. <gasps> so their teeth wear down? and they don't get any new ones. I wonder if they'd be able to get some dentures. Hmm, maybe they should go talk to the hippos. Animal teeth could be cool for a while, but you don't use your front teeth to cut down trees or scare off enemies. You don't need them to dig tunnels or bite really tough stuff. And you never lift the family car with your teeth, even for fun. So what kind of front teeth are right for you? Hmm. So we've got the beaver, the naked mole rat, the elephant. Luckily, you don't have to choose. The teeth that replace those you've lost will be people teeth. They'll be what you need to bite apples, carrots, and corn on the cob. Just what you need to help you talk and best of all, to show off when you smile. Oh, wow, we can see that one of those children has lost a tooth. We'll get ready to get their adult tooth. And then here's instructions on how to take care of your teeth. So, boys and girls, if you got to pick animal teeth as your teeth, animal teeth would you pick? Would you like to have a beaver or a naked mole rat? Would you like the rattlesnake teeth? Would you like to have tusks? Would you like to have Bengal tiger teeth? Hmm, so many teeth to pick from. Maybe there's another kind of animal teeth that you would like to have. So, draw a picture of you with your animal teeth and tell us what animal you would like to have teeth of, and then write about the animal. All right, scroll down below and see what else we've got today.